is Mr. Adams and Eve. They play movie stars who are husband and wife. Starring Ida Lupino and Howard Duff. And in real life, they actually are husband and wife. It's Mr. Adams and Eve. Brought to you by Luster Cream, Hollywood's favorite shampoo. It never dries, it beautifies. And new Luster Net spray set. Mr. Adams and Eve were brought to you by Camel, the largest selling cigarette in America today. Have a real cigarette. Have a Camel. They've really got it. Window on Main Street. Starring Robert Young. As Cameron Garrett Brooks. on Main Street has been brought to you by Tony, makers of Tonette, the home permanent made especially for very young hair. What makes her gray hair so beautiful? Silver Curl, the only permanent specially made for gray hair with a special hair beauty treatment that prevents gray hair dryness. Silver Curl by Tony. Join us again next week for another exciting episode at 21 Beacon Street. Brought to you by Ford, maker of the world's most beautifully proportioned cars. The world's most popular car. A man, his family, and a new Chevrolet. A bright Sunday afternoon. They just naturally go together on a Sunday drive. And everybody knows what a Sunday drive is, why it's an American institution as old as, well, as old as automobiles. A good-to-be-alive time. It's a quiet time, a time to be together and alone all at the same time. A time for a young mother to reflect, to escape from the humdrum, the busy routine. But how does a Chevy seem to an active youngster? Well, it's a time of make-believe, with the whole world to set the scene. It's a time to flex his imagination, to meet and conquer the world, without even a bruise to show for it, as he pulls safely away. While to his sister, a Chevrolet drive is an invitation to a beautiful world, and she's a part of it. A world of magic, all silver and gold. An excursion to Never Neverland, where she is a queen in her luxurious coach, among the people who love her and her wonderful dream. But what about father? What's a Sunday drive to him? More practical, perhaps, watching how his new Chevrolet stretches out the miles on so little gas. Or maybe enjoying the way Chevy's full coil springs swallow bumps. Or, but maybe not. Chances are he's well aware of the adventurers in the back seat, of the quiet dreamer beside him. And he's enjoying all their dreams. After all, he's the one that said, come on, climb in the Chevy. We're off for a Sunday drive. <laughs> Sandy Duncan. I'm Richard Thomas. Hi, I'm B. Arthur. I'm Samantha Egger. I play Anna. And the king? Who else but Yul Brynner? I play Bernie Steinberg. And I play Bridget. Teresa. Mary. Colleen. Fitzgerald. Hi, this is Bill Cosby. Oh, hi. I'm Alan Alden. Alan Alden. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm calling to tell you about the, the new show I have on CBS this fall. It, it's called The Bob Newhart Show. Have and we, we got a fall for you. you. First, take a look at CBS's eight new shows. Have we got a fall for you. 
M.A.S.H., Anna and the King, The Bob Newhart Show, Maud, The New Bill Cosby Show, The Sandy Duncan Show, The Waltons, Bridget Loves Burning. for me now but to wander the earth, a, a ghostly figure, unloved and unwanted. And who got me into this grisly mess? Max Schulman, that's who. He's the guy who invented this series. Max Schulman, the funny writer, you know, uh, rally round the flag boys, barefoot boy with cheek, the tender trap, the feather merchants, sleep till noon, the many loves of Dobie Gillis. Hundreds of funny books and plays and stories. He makes a lot of people laugh, Mr. Schulman does, but not me. It's not so funny when you're on my end of it. Next week, for example. Next week, he's got me doing some of the... some of the... This is too... I mean, there are certain things a fella just... No. No, by George, I won't do it. I just won't do it, that's all. Oh, heck. Hello. Hello. Y did you say, oh, heck? That's what I said, oh, heck. Oh, why'd you say, oh, heck? Because you just did me out of a week's wages. <laughs> me? How? Well, if you're not going to do next well, week's well, show... Wait a minute. Y you mean... You're in it? Mm-hmm. And I'm on the week after that. And then me. And then me. And then me. And, and then, then us. us. Well, 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 well. Uh, this puts a new face in the whole matter. Uh, several new faces. And beautiful new faces, if I may say so. <laughs> you may. Then you like go on with the series? But of course. Crazy, Dad. You're a real human being. You're coming back, man. Sure, I'll be like dropping in to do a little laughing and scratching. So will I. You laugh and scratch? No, I teach and teach. Big Daddy. <laughs> Tough. What are you going to do? And uh, I'll be coming back from time to time. To be my girl? Well, I don't know. That depends. Oh, I'd the money, huh? If we, yes, you, you understand. It's not me, Dobie. It's my family. Yeah, you, you mean your father's... Love's kidney condition. I'll tell the old gentleman I hope he's better I'll real soon. do that, all right? Thank you, Dobie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be an occasional visitor, too. I know that voice. I'm your brother, idiot. <laughs> you mean you're my idiot brother. How you doing? Hey, you're on the show, too? Yeah, I play your big brother. I'm away at college. Oh, well, what are you taking? He's taking me. Now I know how Walter P. James felt. Who is Walter P. James, dear? Walter P. James had two sons also. Jesse and Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my pop, and that's my mom, and that's my brother, and that's my teacher, and that's my buddy. And uh, these are the women I love. Uh -huh. Nice work, you can get it. Now, on behalf of Martin Manulis, Herbert Swope Jr., Rod Amato, and Max Schulman, I want to say thanks for your kind attention. And I, I hope this is the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship, because... We need the money! <laughs> Well, that's it, writers. But before we leave, would you remember to do something for Dale and me? 
Ask your mom to get a package of our favorite cereal, Post Sugar Crisp. I'm sure once you try it, you'll like it as much as we do. Yes, indeed. We all love Sugar Crisp around this ranch. The kids are crazy about it. And no wonder. Wait till you taste it. No other cereal even comes close to Sugar Crisp to my way of thinking. So get the package with the three bears on front, and we'll see you next week. Bye.